Okay, in this lesson, I want to little talk about uh, libraries. It's very easy to use. We have lots of parts here. The first part is 3D model, and it categorized to a lot of parts, accessory furniture, fans, office, composer scene. You can go and explore all of them. Uh, the part is if for example, go into one of their categories, but this was click on this uh, category list. You can go back. For example, if you want to use one of them, as you can see, this sign is means you have to download. You can click and drag on a scene. But first, you have to sign into an account in SimLab Soft and you can. <clears throat> Simply hit download and download your model and you can use the item in your scene, for example, here. And if you want to download all of them at once, you have to click here, download contents. If you click it, download. And as you can see, we have nine models to download. You have to wait to download and all of them will be downloaded and you can use in your scene. <coughs> Okay, we click here, going back to the 3D model, going back to the library. Other category is 3D scene. All of this scene has a lot of things to do. And of course, some of them are very nice for rendering. You can open them and for example, for rendering a car, you can use this scene or other scene that you want. Or if you want to ground, you can uh, add a uh, ready ground to your scene okay we are waiting for downloading content and it's the last of them and done nine item download successfully that's okay so click on this to uh, download all the contents at once going to the library other thing is a sketch fab models you can access a sketch fab but you have to first log in your account at sketch fab and it automatically connect the uh, simlab soft to the sketch fab icon um, accounts and you can use all of these nice and powerful modeling from sketch fab Another thing is the background. We have to 2D background. As I said before, in environment, we use a lots of background <coughs> here from image. This is a 2D background, and we have a lots of 3D, uh, 3, 360 degree, or it's free called background that you can use. Them. <coughs> this is an a script. If we, you open uh, automation, you can use the auto script that you can um tell the software to doing a special works and repeat it and repeat it for example and as you can see if we go into the simulation for example part we have a separate library for simulation we have i will explain them in the next lessons don't worry but we have a special uh, library for simulation objects okay going back to the virtual reality and we have hdri image that we can light in our scene with an hdri if you go into the environment it's automatically open for you if you go into hdri or sun as you can see going to the library this is a nice in uh, interesting part of the library that's lighting city if you don't want to go and change all of those settings you can <coughs> go to the library and lighting setting if you want to use rendering you can use uh, all of the settings there are presets for setting of the uh, these properties for example if you want to render interior just click and drag and as you can see everything is ready for interior if you want to for example <coughs> uh, you are set up in a vr you can use them and this is a vr sitting here this is a preset for lighting and here you can use and we have a sound preset as i said before you can uh, change the 
position of the sun and the lighting and here we have IES lights that as I said before when you're going to the light menu we have an IES here you can use this library uh, from its properties but it's here also and another interesting part is SimLab Academy or tutorials for getting it started, scene management, 360, VR creation, or automation, baking, 3D PDF rendering and simulation, we have a lot of tutorial. For example, from rendering, you can render interior and we have lots of tutorial here. You can open first download this scene for beginning to render. Then all of these are uh, YouTube tutorial. When you double click on them, you can go in them and see the tutorials from SimLab website. And another interesting part is sharing and uh, adding a model into 3D category. For example, we, I'm going to the uh, one of those categories. For example, in this category, this is our logo and a 3D and I want to add it to my scene. For example, first going to the material, I will explain them more, don't worry. I like metal, mm, brush metal. Here you can make, make change the icons of, that you want. For example, I like this metal for our TC. Mm -hmm, that's nice. And that's okay. I changed the material. Going to the 3D model, one of the categories, if you go in uh, this mode, we have not any button here. If you go in the category and you can open the model, we have something called here, add a new item in this category. When you hit this plus bike icon, you can name, for example, I said, sorry, TC logo, and you can render the preview it takes too long, but I like this uh, preview and you can hit OK. And as you can see, it goes here. I think it's the render preview of that. No, no, no. Uh, I mean a render. F4, this is the bit out render preview and it goes here. This is our TC logo exactly in this direction. It's render preview and show it here. And after that, if you create a new scene, you can for example oh, for example i don't want i insert it from cinema 4d for example empty scene and you can click and drag it and use any time that you want in your scene and this is in the library every time that you open the software it's in your category and another interesting part is you can share your model from this simlab soft to other simlab soft software or your friends with uh, share content if you click it you can click and drag your content your utility model as you can see just click and drag and save package if you want to save package this export sharing package will be open you can add any thumbnail here or archon you can set a name alpha description that you want and it is all of these uh, model that you want to save in a package or if you want to create palette and then export and export it as a pack seemed up soft package uh, with a special uh, format then after that you export it you can go uh, open some of them here and then load the package uh, I have to say just this save and load package is across from the uh, SimLab sub software. It, it does not uh, export it to, for example, FBX or OBJ model. This is all just for export and import in SimLab softwares, not other software. It's so powerful. I like it. You can download all of the model and, for example, use them in other software that you want. Or you can share your model to your friend, for example. This is nice and interesting. Okay, this is the library of the SimLab software. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.